हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लिनिकल बायोकेमिस्ट्री बाय डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द बेनेडिक टेस्ट एंड वर्सेस द फेलिंग टेस्ट सो वी विल सी हाउ बेनेडिक टेस्ट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द फेलिंग टेस्ट इन माय अर्लियर लेक्चर आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द डिटेल अबाउट बेनेडिक टेस्ट एंड द डिटेल अबाउट द फेलिंग टेस्ट आई विल गिव द लिंक फॉर बोथ द टेस्ट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एज वेल एज इन द आई बटन so when we are going to see the bendick test and failing test uh, these are the two tests by which we are normally distinguished between the reducing sugar and non reducing sugar uh, alcohol uh, and ketone alpha hydroxy ketone with some other carbohydrates so let me uh, explain about the uh, different distinctions how we can differentiate so first difference we are going to talk about in both the test is about the reagents in case of benedict test uh, we are getting using a reagent that is called as bendict reagent whereas in case of failing reagent test we are using two different reagents and those reagents are called as failing reagent a and failing reagent b the composition of bendict reagent is uh, we are using sodium carbonate which normally provides the alkaline environments then we are using the most important component is copper sulfate which provides the uh, cu double plus plus 2 ion uh, for the reactions and third thing we are using that is sodium citrate which normally keeps copper plus 2 ion in the plus 2 state in case of uh, failing reagent we are having failing reagent a failing reagent b failing reagent a is containing only copper sulfate whereas failing reagent b contains sodium potassium tartrate which is also called as a rock salt and second component is koh here koh provides the alkaline conditions in case of bendick test the alkaline condition is provided by sodium carbonate when we are going to compare the uh, strength of the alkali sodium carbonate is a weak strength a weak alkali whereas potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide we can also use they are a strong alkali so we'll see there then uh, we are going to uh, talk about the reagent strength the real benedict reagent which we are using that is uh, three components uh, reagents so reagent is very stable so we can prepare and we can keep it at room temperature and it will be utilized you can use it whereas in case of failing reagent reagent is unstable so we cannot prepare and we can use it so just we are going to prepare reagent a and reagent b separately and keep separately whenever we are going to use at the time of experiment that time we are going to mix reagent a and reagent b in equal volume and we are using it so before experiment you have to mix and prepare the final re, uh, failing reagent whereas in case of benedict test it is ready to use you can prepare it and you, and you can keep it uh, in both the test uh, if you see the active component so active component which normally participate in the reaction is in case of benedict test it is copper citrate the citrate is coming from sodium citrate i have to already told you sodium citrate normally keeps copper plus 2 into plus 2 state so that sodium citrate reacts with copper and gives you copper citrate whereas in case of failing test the component the active component which is participating in the reaction is copper tartrate this tartrate is coming from sodium potassium tartrate or rock salt <coughs> now the another difference uh, in both the test is reaction conditions in uh, in case of benedick test we have to heat the reaction mixer up to the um, temperature that is boiling temperature that is roughly at 100 degree centigrade whereas in case of failing test we don't need to heat it we have to just heat up to 60 degree centigrade you don't need to boil it it so 60 degrees sufficient in case of benedick test we are using sodium carbonate that is a weak alkali whereas in case of failing test we are using a strong alkali that is koh or sodium hydroxide if you'll see the strength so this is a weak strength uh, alkali this is a strong alkali so there is a complications so yeah there is a, a drawback you can call it in case of failing test is this strong alkali uh, koh can this uh, degrades your carbohydrate so reaction can be affected so result whatever you are expecting that result you will not get it whereas in case of uh, benedick test we are using a weak alkali so it is not going to degrade your carbohydrate so there is no any kind of uh, drawbacks with this one 
results we are going to see it in case of benedict test we can get different types of colors like when a reaction is negative we are going to get blue color so that blue color is coming because of copper plus 2 ion then depending on the other strength of the sugar we are getting different colors like green solution green precipitate yellow orange or red brick precipitate <coughs> whereas in case of failing test we can get either blue or we can get red blue uh, red brick red brick uh, brick red precipitate so only these two possibilities are there in case of failing test <coughs> Another difference is when Benedict test we can differentiate between the reducing sugar and non-reducing sugar. Whereas failing test normally we are using to differentiate between the aldehyde and the alpha hydroxy ketone with other carbohydrates. So these are the differences between the Benedict test and failing test. Uh, hope you have understood the differences. You have already learned about the, both the tests. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you uh, like the video, please press the bell button so that you will get all the notification. Please like the video and subscribe my channel so that you will get all the informations. Thank you.